Hello, hello, this is TorTH30, and today we're going to be going over the MKS 32GB eMMC module, as well as the USB flashing adapter. This is a pretty good upgrade for printers like the SV08 that come with an 8GB storage module stock, and for larger printers like that, it quickly fills up, especially if you're doing large models and time lapses. It's a relatively painless upgrade, you're just going to want to make sure that if you've made any configuration changes that you've backed those up so you can re-upload them to the new module once you get everything set up again. All right, so if you've ordered the modules from us, uh, you'll get the USB adapter as well as the module itself. And if the module would come with a few standoff and screws, but we're not going to be using those today as the stock printer already has those, and we're just going to be reusing those. Uh, one thing you're going to want to note is on the module itself, it has a little screen print of an eMMC module, and that just indicates which direction to plug it in. So when you're plugging it in, you're going to want to make sure the module is facing away from the USB port. Uh, there are there are a bunch of printed adapters that you can use for cases, and I would suggest doing this just so you don't sort these out while you have them plugged in. So let's just plug the new module in, make sure it's fully seated, and plug that into our USB port. You'll see a little red light and a blue light flash, and that indicates you're plugged in, and you should hear a tone on your computer as well. All right, once you're back at your computer, we're going to want to pull up wiki.solvo3d.com. And on the left side here, we're clicking on the SV08. On the SV08 page, we're going to be going down to the firmware upgrade section and the SV08 image file. This will be on a Google Drive. And this is the page that it pulls up. Uh, the two files you're going to want to grab are the image file here, as well as the imager file. This is just Raspberry Pi imager that they've packed up with this, so you don't have to download from a third party. From here, once you have this set up, we're going to want to click on the Raspberry Pi device, select no filtering. The operating system is going to be use custom here at the bottom of the selection, and we'll scroll down and find our most recent download of the image file. Right now it's 2.3.3, but yours may be different depending on the time of this recording. After you have the operating system selected, we're going to go to storage, and the eMMC module should show up as a generic storage USB device. We'll click on that, click next. We do not want to apply any OS customization settings. And yes, we are aware that it will be erasing everything that is currently on the storage device. If you got it from us and you haven't flashed it before, this would be already empty. So this will take a couple minutes to prepare, write, and then go through a verification to make sure everything was written correctly. After that, you're just going on to open up your SVOA and on the bottom, pull out the existing module uh, after removing this two screws on either side, and then plug in the new module and go through the initial setup of the printer again. So that's going through uh, setting up the Wi-Fi and everything like that. If you did back up any of your config files, you can pull those over and drop those in after you get everything set up. This is a relatively painless upgrade, and it does give a lot of quality of life as you're not going to be having to clear out the drive every couple of prints. As um, with mine, I was printing larger files like helmets, um, full plates of parts and things like that, which quickly filled up the storage. Especially if you're doing things like time lapses, that's going to take up quite a bit of storage as well. And this will save you a bit of pain and headache having to go through and clear it. 